Okay, guys, I'm here today with Josh Barnett, the legend, huge honor for me. And uh, guys, jo uh, Josh just shot an entire structure all about heel hooks, and uh, I'm super excited to learn heel hooks from catch wrestling because <laughs> I'm being overloaded of knowledge of heel hook in grappling just because the amount of instructors yeah. that we have who are, who are great with heel hooks, mm -hmm. but almost not too many if you catch wrestling. So I'm super curious to see like the. There is a ton of uh, leg lock instructional stuff here at BGJ Fanatics by in incredible uh, grapplers. Uh, yep. th that is no doubt. Uh, and I know that, that leg locks have become incredibly popular, but I would say a lot of that stems from coming from guard and yep. backing the leg from there. Yep. To which I, I get it because if you can get your opponent up, then their ability to snake that leg underneath and capture is, is really easy. Uh, but you know, as a catch guy, most of the stuff we do is going to be coming from the top. But with a lot of my, like what you may have seen, if any of you have ordered any of my earlier instructionals, there's a lot on things specific to the mechanics of capturing the leg itself. In this case, cap, uh, finishing with certain grips and how to apply that pressure to get the best breaking opportunity as possible, the best ability to tear and actually finish that submission in a proper way. But there's also going to be uh, information on different types of entries, different dilemmas, and some little cool and sneaky stuff like I want to show you. I call this, uh, I didn't really ever have a name for this, so I just call it a modified heel hook. Modified heel hook. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's a, a part of this instructional uh, on modified heel hooks towards the end here. But, uh, you know, we've got a whole ton of other stuff there. But check this part out. So, Bernardo, just go ahead and grab my leg. Go ahead and enter into a leg lock. Anyone? Yeah. Like a straight foot lock? Doesn't matter. Hand. Okay, so Bernardo's going after my leg, and we've been fighting, and we're looking for stuff and whatever might be available. Now, if I started going underneath, you're familiar with all this kind of stuff. Maybe if it was, you know, going for Aoki locks and different things, right? All these other variants. Those are pretty familiar, but this is something I don't see people doing. So Bernardo's on my leg. Feel pretty good there, yeah? Yep. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and trap his toes, simply put. So, and I'm going to adjust so that I have a nice, good fulcrum at which to lever against. So even as Bernardo's going after my ankle here, I'm going to pop my hips yeah. and pull his toes down, and I'm elevating his heel Crazy. with my hip and chest. So and it's ahead. so simple. Yeah, so go ahead and go for the Achilles. So you're going for it, going for it. Hey, that's insane. And you can do that from any leg attack that I do on you. Because you, you said, like, just grab my leg. Yeah. And I, I choose the Achilles. But as long as this leg comes across this way, I just so need to... So even if I was trying, like, some heel hook over yeah. here... And if you're going for... I need to get it quickly, man, but... That's, that's insane. It would be... If you have a heel hook, I also talk about this. Heel hooks are a lot like being a gunfighter. Whoever shoots first usually wins. Yep. So if you can drop and capture the heel hook before I really have yep. a good bite yep. here, then you're, gonna, you're probably going to get me. Yeah, I got it. But, uh, but if I delay? Yeah. Or if you go, let's say you're attacking my leg this way, like same thing here. Yeah, that's insane. And um, sometimes you can even, you may be able to get it this way. Yeah. But there's too much flexibility usually when their foot is this way. In this in this scenario, basically what we're doing is we're, we're kind of a we're, we're essentially attacking like an inside heel hook, which is the worst. Yep. Bernardo hooks my heel right here. This is the nastiest one. Yep. But if I can defend that, oh, no, I don't want to get that. That happened to me. And pin and pinch. Yes. I'm creating that Good. that Z that I talk about in the instructional. Imagine that his leg is a Z from his toe to all the way up to his hip. Now you lay that Z on the floor, lay it flat, and then push. The opposite ends of the Z up right. and down and create that shearing motion. So it's not just twisting. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Well, Josh, so anytime you have my foot in on, let's say, like mm -hmm. on top of your belly, chest, -ish, yeah. you can hit that. Yes. Good. And you may, like, if I'm here, I can hit it, but maybe sometimes it's a little better. You, you'll find the spot where that heel, you feel some tension against your chest. Or whatever your rib cage, ah, you're driving there. That is crazy. Here, see, just not quite enough. Now I pull it up here. Hey. And if you want to, you can use different grips. Oh my god. Like I can cover it. Ah. 
I expect to see Mikey Musumeci using something like this. And it does, that reminds me of Mikey. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I, in fact, uh, we go over, uh, I guess, something very similar on this instructional as well, because the, the, Michael, like the first time I saw that, Eric Paulson sent it to me. He goes, check this out. And I'm all, the hell? We've been doing that forever. Yeah. But it's really cool that this kid, just he's out there doing his thing, and he's like, hey, watch this, Bernardo. <laughs> he just starts nailing people with it, which is great. I love yeah. to see it. Yeah. No, and uh, sometimes I always feel like catch wrestling and jiu-jitsu are two completely different words, but they overlap in a grappling match or in an MMA match. Absolutely. And sometimes jiu-jitsu guys, they don't recognize what comes from here. Mm -hmm. And probably vice versa as well. Probably there are stuff there that guys, jiu guys started that are catch wrestlers yes. use and they don't... Re there are guys that, so. that, that want to, you know, they want to be catch guys, but they don't want to ever compete in jiu-jitsu competitions, even okay. if it's no gi. You're like, well... There's not that many opportunities to compete as it is. You know, there's the King of Catch tournaments that Jake puts on. I do the ACWA tournaments. We got one coming up in August, August 12th. And there's the catch wrestling tournaments that they'll do in England. But there's just not many for you to compete in in a catch rules match. So if you want to wrestle, go out there and do a jiu-jitsu competition. And if there's a catch wrestling competition and you're a jiu-jitsu guy, go out there and do it. You know, and Good. learn because to add to what you're saying... You're right, and part of, and I'd say I would say that the reason why there's so much overlap is because your joints only bend. I agree. So many ways. Has a neck, has yeah. two arms and two legs, and uh, exactly. You know, so uh, when I make these instructionals, I I really want to put something out there that I think that can help anyone, whether they be an MMA catch. No, you know, I, all I, that. Josh, I think you're definitely one of the most responsible people in the world in order to to connect those two words, you know, because you're the one who has done MMA, has done Jiu-Jitsu, has done grappling, has done Jiu-Jitsu if gi, no gi, yeah. and all, all the rules, you know, like, so you, you're the connection between those two words, kind of. I just wanted to compete as much as possible, uh, and, you, can see you know, that. It, 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 and I've always got my own, my little goal is when we sit down and do these videos, I do something that actually surprises you. No, you always do, because it's <laughs> incredible, all, all this stuff, it's, it's very different, and the, the mechanics are like, for example, you showed the, the one that breaks the, the, yes. the forearm, right? Yeah. And in Jiu Jitsu, there's the Barato Plata, which is kind of like the same mechanic, but then you have this other way that I had never seen before, just like this. Mm -hmm. So, the, this is incredible. But, anyways, guys, make sure to check that out. So, Josh just shot an entire instruction all about heel hooks. And uh, it's a great opportunity to learn the heel hook from here, from the catch wrestling world, which can be applied in the grappling world as well. So, uh, it's going to be at djjfanatics.com. Maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So make sure to check that out. And thanks so much. Thanks, Bernardo. Appreciate it. Always it a pleasure. Awesome. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.